Hi, welcome to my vlog. Here's Jewel, trying to get into the mischief as usual. This is why people often call the bird a toddler. They're forever three years old and forever trying to get into trouble. So you have to watch them at all times when you have them out of the cage. But you don't want to keep them out of the cage all the time because they will destroy your house and probably eventually destroy themselves. Now today I'm going to talk about picking up your bird. Now when she's on a surface like the counter and she's ready to go, she doesn't mind stepping on my hand. Jewel, you want to show them stepping on my hand? Oh yeah, you good birdie. Step down. Yay! She very, she's very good. Step up and step down would be the easiest trick you teach a bird. And they are important to learn though. But I also like to use a purse because if she doesn't really want to leave an area like my shoulder, she loves my shoulder. And she doesn't want to come off of that unless she's ready. But she's very good about stepping on my shoulder onto a perch. So for this, I will teach you how to get your bird in your cage. Well, not my cage, her cage. <laughs> I'm talking about your cage, Jewel. Well, we don't like to call it a cage either. I like to call it a habitat, enclosure. The bird palace. See, she's right back on my shoulder. But luckily, luckily I have the perch. Jewel. And there she is. No problemo. And just as easy as I got off my shoulder, I will get her back in her enclosure. Right, Jewel? That right, Jewel. Well, I knew she was gonna go for a door, so I just let her. Now this is what she'll do if I let her do what she wants. Jump on the lamp. And that is a no-no. Because she will shoot on the lampshade, eventually poop on the lamp, it'll be a big old mess. For now, getting her back in her enclosure. Jewel, you wanna go in easily? Yeah? You wanna go in? Okay, she, she pretty much in. Yep, she did. Now half the time she does not do this easily. Unless it's nighttime and she's tired, she knows it's bedtime. We'll tweet and tweet right back at you, baby. Most of the time, during the day, if I had to put it back in an enclosure, I just hold a stick in the doorway and close the door so she can't get out. So she can't just walk up the stick and back up my arm and onto my shoulder again. So, to make it easy for you, that's what I suggest. Just use a stick. You can get it down any hardware store or just use an old purse that you probably have from your birdcage. And then just put it in the door. Shut the door on the bird so she can't walk up the purse. And eventually your bird will get the idea. It's like you just saw just now. And she walked in her cage without putting up much of a fuss. I didn't have to close the door on her. And it's still in the middle of the day. Well, it's about, what, late afternoon, maybe? Yeah, four or five o'clock. Yeah. Her paper's a little dirty. They need changing again. I changed her papers once today. But anywho, so that's what this video is about. How to get your bird in and out of the cage. Oh, here she come. Are you coming out, Jewel? Are you coming out, baby? Okay. Want to say hello to YouTube? Mm. She said, ooh, watch me fly. Okay. That's all we wanted to say, Jewel, right? Yeah, that's all we wanted to say. Thanks for watching.